What's good, people? Welcome back to MGTV. It's your boy Rhino. This is Let's Talk United. This is your latest Manchester United news. Listen, it's funny. I was just literally watching a clip that Faz put up of Ramsdale getting lobbed. And do you know what it is? It's so ironic that I was just, as I started this video to talk about Onana, I'm just looking at this Ramsdale clip. And it happens to the best of them. Before Ramsdale was getting sold, Arsenal fans were saying Rams Ramsdale's one of the best in the world. And I, I I would say Ramsdale is a very good goalkeeper, but he does have his flaws that sometimes get kind of covered up in terms of... Get, they get covered up by the positive stuff that he does anyway. But yeah, it's not even no dig at Arsenal fans. It's just facts. Sometimes we don't realise that we have to look look at our own home before judging other people's homes sometimes, you know what I'm saying? But obviously Onana's going to get spoken about. It's Manchester United. He's a new goalkeeper. People are waiting for his mistakes. Irrespective of whose fault it is, people are going to blow it out of proportion. But yeah, that's where we're going to start, people. Onana. Let's talk about Andre Onana, Manchester United's new goalkeeper. Um, To be honest with you guys, I'm happy with the signing. I'm ecstatic. I can't wait to see him in the Premier League. I think he's going to do well. I actually think he's going to do well. My only concern would be for him to find the balance of when and kind of how to push. Like how, So I want Onana to be himself. I want him to be himself. I, want, I don't want him to change nothing. I just want to make sure, I just want him to make sure that when he's being himself, he adapts it to the Premier League. You know, you feel me? It's like being a fast runner. Back in your um, country where you were, you were running fast. Now you're going to try a different terrain. Next time you might run on mud. You might run, run on sand. It, it sounds like a mad analogy, but think about what I'm saying, people. He's still the fastest runner. He just needs to know how to adapt to how he runs in the mud or runs in the sand. Hence, Andre Anana needs to adapt to how the Premier League is. You don't have a lot of time in the ball like other leagues. Like, there's a lot of high-pressing teams, even teams low in the table that press very high. So, adapting to the pace, yeah, he, he has to be ready for that. So, he needs to have, he needs to adapt his judgment, um, adapt his, I said, I said the judgment, he needs to adapt his judgment and know, okay, this is how I normally do it. But because these people are fast or this player does this differently or this league's like this or, you know what I mean? Let me adjust my game a bit. So I want him to still be off his line. I want our team to still play from the back. I still want to see all of what he's doing. He just needs to know when and how. And in terms of the scrutiny that he's getting, it's Manchester United and it's Andre Onana. Everyone that gasses him up, they're going to have the opposing people saying, oh, De Gea, they're, going to have, they're going to have the opposing people that don't agree. And they're also going to have David De Gea fans. And I'm still a David De Gea fan. I hate when people take one thing you say and just take one part of it instead of taking the whole picture of what you're saying, the whole context. So same way they say about Manchester United, oh, we spent money. Where's the context? Oh, Ten Hag spent this much. Where's the context? So, um, yeah. Um, I, I'm personally, it's all, it's all banter. We all like to have our shameless moments. We all like to, you know clip up things and make well I don't personally clip up but when I say we all I mean as in it's general it happens a lot um obviously with the whole um Onana situation I literally saw someone put up on TikTok just the moment he got loved and they didn't even put the fact the the 10 seconds that, that happened before that which was the key moment as much as it, the key, one, of, one of the key moments was Andre Onana getting loved the key kind of reason that happened was just before that and that's what i'm saying people remove context and just want to make jokes and make fun so it's normal every little thing he does wrong he's gonna get scrutinized for it it's gonna get clipped up it's gonna be put on twitter so i'm just happy he's got that i don't care mentality he literally said it in his interview before he came to the club before he was official and he said it in the um, post-match um interview after that game the Lons game RC Lons game he said he don't care what people thinks he's gonna do him he can handle the pressure 
it's fine. He believes in himself and he's going to do what he's going to do. He's not doing it for other people. He's doing it for the love of the team. And he's always going to be critical on himself, on himself and on the other players as well. So, yeah, in regards to Onana, I'm not worried. Obviously, I just hope he does adapt and stuff. Things can go wrong. I, I was on Saeed's man then talk big upside as well. Always. Um, I was talking about the fact that we some some situations we look at positive and negatives and other situations that we favour, we only look at the positives and we kind of downplay the negatives. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like, um, yeah, on Onana, the negative parts are we're going to have a lot of these situations where the ball unfortunately loves him or play with the ball at his feet. Someone's pressing him and someone gets the ball or he makes a mistake makes a mistake or he slips up or whatever so yeah man um those are the negatives oh sorry i'm just playing the, <laughs> the rams the video i'm trying to pause it because it keeps playing in the background but those are the negatives um and sometimes they might cost us games sometimes it must it might cost us points hopefully it doesn't cost us something too drastic and the small teething problems will end up turning into um, like a big success at Manchester United, which I think and I hope Andre Nana brings because of the fact that he's changing the way we're going to play. He's We're going to have to adapt to him. That's another key point. The defenders are going to have to adapt to him as well. So we need to allow this process of him adapting and our team adapting and joining together. Same way our midfield needs to start adapting because we've got new people in there or mounts in there. So, yeah. Um... Moving on anyway, I don't even want to spend too long on this. Glazers, it's all rumours. Apparently, the Sun have posted um, something about, yeah, the Glazers are going to sell by um, November and it's looking like a shake a sim. Like, where is your... Like, where, where are you getting this information from? Like, <laughs> where is it coming from? So, yeah, um, United Stand have had, had close sources that that, that, that news is all nonsense so um yeah i don't think we're gonna have to worry about that to be honest um i wanna um obviously just even finishing up on that topic i just don't know what's happening with this club in regards to the cell man um it's one of those situations where it's, we're just we're just playing the waiting game literally just playing the waiting game and i know that ten hog wanted to buy two strikers I know Ten Hag felt like, you know what? Um, he felt like, you know what? Um, when the owners come in, everything's going to be all good. You know, we can spend a bit of money and we can enjoy it. You know what I'm saying? Enjoy like getting new players in. Enjoy having the fin fi actual financial support on top of proper financial support in the context that the money's been spent correctly and the money is available. Do you know what I'm saying? Because... We know we're on a tight budget right now, this transfer window. So, um, yeah. Um, in regards to um, Hyland now, which I want to finish finish up on, he's injured. He got injured preseason at Atlanta. Um, so, yeah. We saw that unveiling of him today, which was all good. But, yeah, the injury is a blow. It's definitely a blow. Um Hopefully he can have a speedy recovery and he can get match fit. I think he is training, but it's light training. I think it's, it was a very small injury. Very, very small injury, apparently. So um, hopefully um, he can, you know, get over the injury. And then on top of that, you know, start embedding in the team. Because having an injury when you've just joined a new team can be all sorts of like, you know, it can take your morale down. It can take your confidence down because you're now, your mind's focused on adapting and damn, I'm at a big club now and I'm around these players. I need to get used to it. But then now you're injured. So that can play on your confidence as well. So hopefully he overcomes the injury and, in, and then his implementation into the squad is smooth and um, he starts to get used to the patterns of play and we start having a good system with him in it because we do need a striker. And, um, and I was interested to see if he was going to play for the, play in the Wolves game you know we'll play our first Premier League game a week on Monday I'm recording this uh, early morning of Sunday late hours of 
after Saturday. <laughs> uh, the late hours after Saturday, obviously. Um, but yeah, um, Highland, um, it says he's not ready to play now, training as always, but it will take a few weeks to, to reach match fitness. Okay, so I think maybe he's overcome his injury just about, and now he's going through the process of um, just getting his fitness back, which will take a few weeks. I'm hoping that's maybe two. Few as in the fewest of what it could be, because if you think of a few, you think of two or three. So hopefully it's more closer to the two than the three. But as long as he, he gets back fine and there's no complications, and then he can start playing, um, getting in, implemented into the team, then it's all good. Um, but yeah, that's about it, people, man. Let me know what you think. And if you haven't already, please like the video. If you're new to this channel, please subscribe. Literally click subscribe, click post notifications. So every time I post a video, you will get the notification, people. You will get it. Let me just double check something to make sure I've spoke about everything. Yes, that's cool, man. Listen, as always, tell a friend to tell a friend, man. So by Rano and I'm out. Peace. Hey, I swear firms are red pattern this. Red pattern this. Red pattern this.